Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 48. And, well, it's been a little bit since last episode, but actually not all that long. If we go to past prestige runs, it took about 4 minutes and then about 14 minutes. And it's taken about 25-ish minutes this run. And I'm pretty close to the challenge, but the black hole is about to activate. So, this means that I am just going to power through the rest of this um, idiotic challenge, because... I mean, okay, it's definitely not as bad as it was before, but it's still pretty close to an hour. And you can just see, actually, I kind of want to uh, gain a lot of Replicante here. And uh, I was trying to see if I could get up to, like, E20 something thousand, but whatever. I can get, I can actually get E1540 Eternity points with this build, which is crazy. I don't even need dilation <laughs> to get me this far it's it's enough for i'm actually getting time dimensions again and eternity point multipliers which it's is just crazy to think about like it's, it's and it actually could be useful because first dilation run is pretty brutal and having these extra bonuses to get me there like could unironically be good so Anyway, I'm actually going to just purchase the time, the, this time study, and then actually try to go into a half-decent dilation build, and hopefully, yeah, boom, there we go, and we're off. Dilation starts incredibly fast now, because basically it's what I had last time, except an additional nine times dilated time boost, because three times attacking on particle boost, and... Yeah, it just and another three times that late time boost on top of everything. So it takes mere seconds to get all the non-repeatable dilation upgrades. And it takes again mere seconds to get the even the passive time theorem generation upgrade, which I don't even have. I should probably just go for this and yeah, E10 tack in a park. Like it's just so fast in the beginning. But, unfortunately, I mean, I always say this, we don't have stuff like make the tachyon particle formula better. So, it's not going to be as just insane all the way through as in New Game++. Plus Plus Plus. Now, we can keep gaining um, tachyon particles here, and it might start to get better to actually stay in dilation a little bit longer. I mean, maybe not, because, yeah, I can just gain this many tachyon particles and suddenly i'm up to the fifth time dimension except i do need to mainly manually buy these i think i'm not even i'm right now in my dilation build and again that's act that's quite suboptimal and i i still don't even have the fifth through eighth time dimensions yet so yeah that's gonna boost things even more i probably should have gotten the triple the amount of tachyon particles gained but whatever it barely matters at this point because everything is just so fast i'm probably just gonna actually grab the rest of these time dimensions and just sporadically click e or at least while i'm i'm waiting for the time theorems and yeah e3500 attorney points just like that this means in like at most two runs i'm gonna be able to get to e4000 attorney points and unlock the reality study, which means I can pick between a new set of glyphs. And, okay, this is weird. Or a little bit weird. So, this is your usual time dimension glyph. Not very interesting. I also have a glyph level of 4 already, which seems odd. I have 3 from upgrade rows? Wait, what? Um, Is this... It says each oh, it's each completed row purchase upgrades because i have it at uh, my row two and row three upgrades it gives me three levels right from the start which is kind of crazy and i should you know focus a little bit on oops maybe not that okay it's not that big of a mistake because it takes 10 seconds and then i can just go back to looking at my glyphs and i can just dilate time here and do the rest and that was that was way more than triple the amount of tachyon particle gain i'm at e5330 points so okay 
This is the bog standard glyph. Now this glyph, it's nice, but I already have this exact glyph. It's just, what? It, it's a slightly better rarity. And also it's level five, so it's actually gonna be a little better. The other two glyphs are a bit different. So we're, we're gonna take a look at this. Um, replication is the Replicanti Power Mold Multiplier. So it's all, not about gaining Replicanti. It's about the actual Replicanti Multiplier. We're talking about this and this, and I don't think the last one is gonna, it's gonna do anything. The other one is the Dilation Glyph, which I think, I don't think I've really seen this one much, but I have seen this one a few times. And it's dilated antimatter dimensions power. And it's plus like a a lot. And I don't know how good something like this is. Like the first thing that springs to mind for me is the um is this achievement. Because that I feel like that's the only way to get this achievement. Just get five four or five glyphs with that that effect and that that's um i'll do that but we're not really there yet so what do i pick it's it's gonna be a complicated decision just like everything else i don't know how much di how much tachyon particles this actually gives you same with this and i feel like these are kind of crappy effects and I might just want to go with the tried and true Cliff of Power, which seems to be incredibly powerful because I am actually at E6600 eternity points already, which is wild. I can gain 92 reality machines. And, like, actually, I should just go into a real. Well, actually, once I get my eternity points here, actually, it's not going to be very much. But once I get this, I can try going into a dilation build and getting even more tachyon particles. Probably isn't even actually that much better. Yeah, that really isn't that much better, but just staying in dilation will help me just get more total tachyon galaxies and everything. So basically, this is how fast dilation has become. If I'm ever trying to just do a fast reality, dilation is not a concern. Like, I don't even need this glyph at all if I want to just do that. But this is just... It's really weird. Really weird choice. Because it's basically two new effects that I don't really know what they do. And I, I guess the choices at this point are not as important as they once were. Because of just how realities are becoming a lot more common. Although... Again, I am getting ahead with my recordings versus my uploads. I just uploaded episode, what, 39? This is supposed to be, like, what, episode 48? Yeah. Um, there's that disparity, but whatever. I'm probably going to, like, stay in this for a week and just get a ridiculous amount of dial at a time, a ridiculous glyph level, and ridiculous everything. So, yeah, see in a long while. Okay, so it's been like a few days, and I really wanted to do some progression, so actually I already have a little bit of a spoil, but whatever. E3 reality machines, or 1,000 reality machines, which is crazy. But this isn't the end of the run. I'm still way ahead on my recording versus my upload, so I'm going to stay in this reality. First of all, there's a... There's a few things. Almost E26,000 Replicanti. Um, one E18 Tachyon Particles, but it's going to be even more. 362 Tachyon Galaxies. And a Glyph level of 8, which puts my Glyphs like this. I'm, not, I, I'm still leaning towards the Power Glyph at this point. But, yeah, I guess we can just disable Dilation and... And then we'll see... Well, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm going to disable dilation here. Respect my time studies. And with 362 Tachyon Galaxies and E19 Time Theorems, 
which is literally one sixth of the way to meta dimensions if this was new game plus three R. Yeah. E eighty one hundred eternity points. Like that easy. And I could probably keep going higher, at least a little bit higher. So this puts me all the way to 1320 reality machines. It does seem a little bit slower, and this is actually because of something um, here. The inf look, look at the infinity point upgrade. It's only doing it every 10 orders of magnitude rather than one order of magnitude. This is due to the infinity point multiplier becomes more expensive above E3 million infinity points. And it cannot be purchased above E6 million. I'm not quite to 6 million yet. But I am to 3 million. So it is something you have to watch out for. There's also the time dimensions, which... Um, yeah, there's the cost increasing much faster after E6,000 eternity points. I I feel... Oh, yeah. Um, so, well, first, the this is the, f the first major scaling. The infinity point multiplier getting nerfed is the second major scaling. But... The third additional scaling looks like the amount each additional tick speed upgrade requires will start increasing above 300,000 tick speed upgrades. I'm currently sitting at 213,000 tick speed upgrades. So, yeah, that unfortunately is a thing I have to deal with. But, whatever. It looks like I'm up to 1,400 reality machines. Like, this is going to be crazy. I'm going to be able to unlock the black hole. Or not unlock, but, like, get so many black hole upgrades. It's going gonna, it's gonna to totally change how I interact with the black hole. But at this point, I think I just keep going in dilation runs. And, yeah. it's It will take a long time for me to really keep progressing. But... The thing is that I'm already way ahead, so yeah, see you in another bit. Okay, so I'm back like two, three, four, I'm not even sure how many days later, but it's quite a significant amount of time, and I'm still way ahead in this. I have E26,500 Replicanti, which is definitely a new record. I can probably turn this back on. It lowers the amount of Replicanti I have, which is not good if I want to go for max replicanti but it is good if i want to gain tachyon particles which here i am doing so i have now have six e, six e19 time theorems putting this up to an e45 times multiplier and yeah we're just gonna get this and this will first of all with tachyon particles it gets me to 1.01 e19 tachyon particles but more interestingly i'm gonna go into this and go try to try to get more eternity points. I have 386 tachyon galaxies. So how good is this gonna be? Especially with all of the um like nerfs that I have. It seems like I can pretty quickly reach E8200 or like E8270 eternity points. But after that, it just it walls unfortunately i think it really is due to this infinity point doubler thing so i am going to wait until the black hole activates and then see you then okay so the black hole is about to activate so hopefully this will get me a lot more dilated time and eternity points so here we go T dilated time is going way up which means infinity points this multiple is going way up and yeah it looks like this is this is definitely beneficial because this gets me from, like, I don't know, 8310 to 8344 E eternity points. Or, yeah, whatever, E8334, if I can speak properly. So, this gets me all the way to 1810 reality machines. But, I'm still way ahead of my recording. And, I still want to keep going further. I know this is suboptimal, but this is just how it goes. So, anyway... I'm, I'm going to go back into dilation, and this is probably going to be for an, a ridiculously long amount of time, because I, I'm i going to try to go for this triple the amount of tachyon particles gained. And I may not get there, and that's fine, but I'm going to try to get as much dilated time as I can. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.